Hello, first grade friends, and congratulations because you are on your final day of wrapping up the writing part of this narrative. Now, we've been writing a narrative all week, friends, that shares the story or a personal narrative, a true story, about a time when you were a kind friend to someone. Be sure to include the character, setting, and plot. So I told the story about a time when I was on the playground and I noticed that my friend was crying. Here's my beginning. One day, I was playing on the playground when I noticed my friend Sam was crying. I ran over to her to see what was wrong. Now I'm moving over to my middle. Notice I'm gonna use a temporal or a transition word to switch from the beginning to the middle. All of a sudden, Sam yelled, my knee, it's bleeding. I knew I had to help. This is the middle of my story. Now I wanna tell what happened at the end. Well, at the end of my story, I was able to find a Band-Aid for my friend and get it on her knee so that way she would feel better. And I've got a few different choices of temporal words that I can use here that are gonna help me to transition from the middle to the end. To the end. I can say at the end, finally, last. I actually really like finally. And I think I wanna say, Finally, I put a band-aid on Sam's leg. She felt much better. Remember, we're trying to write two sentences like filled with these details because we're almost in second grade. So the first thing I wanna do is write my transition or my temporal word. I'm going with finally. Notice how I'm using an uppercase F. Wait, Miss Burns, you didn't plan your sentence out. What are you doing? Great question. Friends, plan your sentence out first with your lines. Finally, I put the band-aid on her leg, period. And then I'm gonna do another sentence. She felt much better. Exclamation point, because now I'm excited. I helped her to feel better. It's such a good feeling when you help people. Finally, I uppercase I, because it's a sight word I, it's always uppercase, put, sight word P-U-T spells put. Finally, I put a band-aid, b and, b and. Oh, I can break this word into smaller chunks. Band, I hear and, and I know that I can spell and, A-N-D. Band-aid. A, oh, I've seen this word before. It's got vowel diagraph AI. And remember when two vowels go walking, the first one does the talking most of the time. Finally, I put a band-aid. Oh, I've got another D at the end. Finally, I put a band-aid on her leg. On, on, n, her, er, E-R says er, leg, ol, L, e, 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 leg, leg, perfect. Notice friends that I go back and I reread my work like a kajillion times to make sure it's right. Finally, I put a band-aid on her leg. She felt much better. She, ooh, sh, sh, sh. I hear that digraph sh. I'm so good at my uh, consonant digraphs, especially. And I know I need to use an uppercase s here because this is the beginning of a new sentence. I just use a period. I finished my first sentence. Now I'm going to a new sentence with an uppercase letter. She felt f f f e e l l e e fell l fell t t t. She felt, notice how I'm just stretching those sounds, friends. She felt much. M, 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 uh, 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 u, uh, ch, ch, ch. Oh, a constant digraph, I know this one. Ch. She felt much better. Oh, I've seen this word before. Better. Er at the end. Exclamation point, because I'm super excited about this. It felt so good to help somebody. Now that I've finished and I've added some details here, I want to go back and reread my whole story to make sure it sounds right and makes sense. Feel free to read along with me. Here we go. One day, 
I was playing on the playground when I noticed my friend Sam was crying. I ran over to her to see what was wrong. There's me, there's Sam. Notice I add so many details to tell about the setting in my picture. Here's my middle. All of a sudden, Sam yelled, my knee, it's bleeding. I knew I had to help. So far, this really makes sense. Also, friends, do you notice? What are these? I remember talking about those when we talked about narrators and who was telling the story. Do you remember those quotation marks? Quotation marks tell us a character is talking. So who said, my knee, it's bleeding? Sam said that. And who's the narrator of this story? Is it the author or is it, whoop, sorry, that's Huey the cat running around crazy. Or is it a character? Hmm, I see, I, it's me. I'm the narrator, I'm one of the characters. Let's wrap up the end. Finally, I put a Band-Aid on her leg. She felt much better. I just told the story, a true story, about a time when I was kind, a kind friend to someone. So your job, friends, is to pick which of your temporal words you'd like to use, wrap up your ending, and then tomorrow we'll go back and edit to make sure our writing is ready to read.